Moving along, we've spoken to several family members and friends of Meng Shiji over the last two years, and the weeks leading up to today's verdict have brought even more emotions. Kim Yates, Elise Schoenig spoke recently with a close friend of victim of G's who told her exactly what it's felt like for him. Right here on MU's campus is just one of those places that Meng Shiji will be remembered forever. Now remember, after this verdict tonight, that marks almost two years since any of Meng Shiji's family, friends, loved ones have gotten to see her in person. And I talked to one of those friends. He told me while he is filled with so many emotions following today's verdict, he's just hopeful for healing and moving on. Um, that actually definitely inspired me. Dawei Lee says his friend Meng Chi Ji was his inspiration. And she was actually wearing the t-shirt um, of Mizzou with tigers when she got back to our college. The two met at the same college back in China. She led Lee and many others to America and to MU. She mentioned about how nice Mizzou is. That actually inspired a lot of us coming here for um, programming. Soon after the two finished their education at MU, Lee says they lost touch. And later on, our connection um, reduced a little bit, especially after, um, I think, sh after she got married. Yeah. Police resume their search for missing Columbia mother Meng Shi Ji, LH today. Police like many of her loved ones, Lee was committed to finding Ji. I was a little bit anxious and worried, so I offered help on searching for her. With the news of her remains came the news of losing his friend. A very smart, wise, and caring mother. A very dedicated and a hardworking student, a very loyal employee. Even as time passes and the trial closes, he says he's still left with the pain of missing her. If Meng Chi were still here today, what do you think is something that you'd want to say to her and something that you'd want her to know? I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. This is a... This is a little bit touching when you say she's still here today, when which she is not. Yeah. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm, I'm a... Lee says he hopes people never forget G and who she was. But he says with the pain of grieving... I think we need to come to an end to this. Yeah. And this is the right time. He's hopeful for healing in moving on. I did speak to Lee again tonight, just moments after that verdict came out, and he told me among many different emotions, he was finally able to feel a sense of closure and moving on from the loss of his friend. He also told me about a new emotion he felt for the first time, and that was sorrow for the family of Joseph Elledge. Reporting live here from MU's campus, I'm Elise Schoenig, KMU 8 News.